In this video, we're going to have a go at fixing a misfire on cylinder one on this 2003 VW Polo. This is my friend's car, and they just happen to have one of these very cheap and cheerful code readers, which is telling them that there's a misfire on cylinder one. So I'm very quickly going to run through the diagnosis and hopefully how to fix this. If you've never opened the bonnet on your VW Polo before, there's just a handle just here. The first thing we're going to have to do is take this plastic cover here off. And in order to take that off, you need to take the dipstick out first. Once you've taken the dipstick out, there are two plugs to undo here and here because this plastic air intake is actually connected with these two wires. Now these plugs come off in different ways. I'm going to take the plugs off first and then I'm going to show you how they undo. This first lead, to undo it, you just squeeze in the two plastic bits here and here. This second lead here, you want to ideally leave a screwdriver in there and push the screwdriver down whilst pulling this out. The only thing holding that lead on is this little ridge here. So when you push that down, it levers the hook up and you should just be able to slide that off. Once you've undone those two plugs, this plastic cover just lifts off. You need to get your hands under here and here and here and here. It'd help if you had four hands and it just pulls straight up. It can be tricky to get this up and you can end up losing a bit of skin. You can just rest this cover like that you can see there are four catches here and here and there should be four of these i noticed one of them is actually missing so it's just a pull straight up once you've got that engine cover off you can see the coil packs here it's a four cylinder engine so there's four of them and underneath those coil packs are four spark plugs these coil packs just pull straight out the only thing holding them in or that might stop you pulling them straight out is these clips here that hold the wires in here once you've unclipped these you can just get a screwdriver or a pair of pliers and lever these out now if you have one of those code readers and it's telling you that there's a misfire on cylinder one. The thing to do is take off the coil pack for cylinder one and swap it with cylinder three. So you swap these two over, then you plug the OBD reader back in, clear all the codes, and if the code jumps to cylinder three, it's pretty good chance that it's your coil pack here that's at fault. Now, I have already done that, and the problem has jumped from cylinder one to cylinder three, so I know that this, or I think that this coil pack here is faulty. Once you've unclipped these wires here, this should just pull straight out. You might need to unclip this last one as well. So I'm just leaving that straight out. The plugs on these coil packs are held in exactly the same as that other plug. We're just wedging this screwdriver in there and then we're going to wiggle this back and forwards until it comes off. You can see it's starting to move. Sometimes these can be in there really tightly, in which case you can get a big flat blade screwdriver and just twist gently, hopefully without damaging the plastic. That's the coil pack there, and you can see that little catch there is all that holds the plug in. The part numbers of those coils are written on top of the coil. In this particular case, it's a Bosch coil, part number 0986-221-023. Now, you can see on this car here, by the looks of it, one of these coils has been replaced previously because the other three don't have any labels on. The new coil looks exactly the same as the other one. It's just a matter of plugging it in, pushing it down, and that hopefully will be job done, almost. Make sure that plug is clicked all the way in, and then you should just be able to push this coil down like so. It should click into place. They only fit in one way, and that is almost the job done. Just click these things back over to keep the wires nice and neat. Now, just before we put all of this back together, in this particular case, I think the problem is the coil pack. If you suspected the spark plug, they live underneath here, but it would be important to blow out any dirt and dust from those holes before you take the spark plug out because you don't want any grime or grit falling into that spark plug hole. We're just gonna put this engine cover back on. Just before you do so, make sure that this plug is on here tightly because sometimes people try and take these off not realizing they're attached by wires and they inadvertently pull that plug off. Once you've lined this hole up and that's central, you should just be able to push all four corners of this down, like so. And then obviously remember to put the dipstick back in. The wires here are just a simple push fit back on. One there, push it until you hear it click. And this one here, similarly push it until you hear it click. 
Now, hopefully when we turn the engine on, it'll run smoothly and there'll be no engine management light on. Let's just try that. There we go, engine running smoothly. If one of your coil packs does fail, you will experience very rough idling and a loss of power. I'm just gonna finish this video with where we got the part from and where you can get one of these cheap scanners from. If you do ever have a rough idling and loss of power and the yellow engine management light on your dash. We got that Bosch ignition coil from GSF Park car parts um, in Bristol. Online it cost £32. When we turned up to pick it up they said it was £40 because we hadn't actually ordered it online. So just a word of advice if you are going to do this job buy the thing online and pick it up in store. It takes about half an hour for the order to process. If you're on a budget and you want the cheapest possible scanner this is the one my friend bought just £14.39 from Amazon. Personally I would always use a better scanner because you'll get better fault codes and more in-depth analysis but having said that this worked perfectly well for this particular job.